speaker, president pro tempore, members of Congress, and fellow Americans. In the normal course of events, presidents come to this chamber to report the State of the Union. Tonight, no such report is needed. It's already been made by the American people. We have seen it in the courage of passengers who rush terrorists to save the, those on the ground. Passengers like the exceptional man named Todd Beamer. And would you please help me welcome Lisa Beamer here tonight. We have seen the state of our union and the endurance of rescuers working past exhaustion. We've seen the unfurling of flags, the lighting of candles, the giving of blood, and the saying of prayers in English, Hebrew, and Arabic. We have seen the decency of loving and giving people who have made the grief strangers who have made the grief of strangers their own. My fellow citizens, for the last nine days, the entire world has seen for itself the state of our union, and it is strong. Tonight we are here, country awakened to danger, and called to defend freedom. Our grief has turned to anger, and anger to resolution. Whether we bring our enemies to justice, or bring justice to our enemies, justice will be done. I thank Congress for its leadership at such an important time. All of America was touched on the evening of the tragedy to see Republicans and Democrats joined together on the steps of the Capitol, seeing God bless America. And you did more than just sing. You acted and delivered $40 billion to rebuild our communities and meet the needs of our military. Speaker Hazard, Minority Leader Giffart, Majority Leader Dashiel and Senator Lott. I thank you for your friendship, for your leadership, and for your service to our country. And on behalf of the American people, I thank the world for the outpouring support. America will never forget the sounds of our national anthem being played in Buckingham Palace and on the streets of Paris and Berlin's Brandenburg Gate. We will not forget South Korea, their children gathering to pray outside the embassy in Seoul, or the prayers of sympathy offered at a mosque in Cairo. We will not forget moments of silence and days of mourning in Australia and Africa and Latin America. Nor will we forget the citizens of 80 other nations who died, along with our own. Dozens of Pakistans, more than 130 Israelis, more than 250 citizens of India, men and women of El Salvador, Iran, Mexico, and Japan, and hundreds of British citizens. Merca has no truer friend than Great Britain. Once again, we are joined together in it for a great cause. I'm so honored the British Prime Minister has crossed the ocean to show his unity with America. Thank you for coming, friend. On September 11th, the enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. Americans have known wars, but for the first, but for the past 136 years, they have there have been wars on foreign soil. 
except for one Sunday in 1941. Americans have known the casualties of war, but not at the center of a great city on a peaceful morning.